I mean, I don't need to be a genius to work this one out. It's difficult to play away from home. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what the URC is. That's why it presents this unique challenge because we are sitting here in Cape Town, you know, 20 degrees or whatever. Yeah. Um, we're about to go into summer and the boys are on the other side of the world. It's, you know, three degrees over there in Edinburgh or something. And um, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough to adjust to the travel. It's tough to adjust to the weather. Um, and it's always tough to win on the road. So one win, one loss. Um, you know. I mean, how, how would we respond to that? I mean, it's a 50-50 kind of scenario. We would have obviously liked to have taken both. Yeah, we would like to have taken both. I mean, last year was even more difficult. Yeah. Uh, obviously, starting with four four on the bounce losses on the road. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see how tonight goes. I think the boys will be fired up. But, you know, we're obviously facing a load of Scotland internationals there in Edinburgh. So it's, well, I mean, to be fair, they're facing a load of uh, South African internationals at the indeed. same time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, it's, a, it's a really exciting-looking uh, DHL Stormers team for today. Uh, I'm particularly excited to see uh, Damien Willemsen in 10. Mm. Um, uh, and, I mean, that isn't any kind of um, sort of like, oh, gosh, who are we going to put a 10? Let's put Damien there, see what happens. I mean, he is just absolute quality and class. Yeah, I mean, he's he's electric. Ever since he's returned from his injury, he's just been on top form. And like you say, it's not like a question of oh, who are we going to put at 10. It's we're, we're so blessed with the options that we have across the back line and the forwards. But, you know, anyone can, can any number of players can do a job yeah. at that 10 position. And I think, you know, this the look of this team is super exciting. Damien, 10, Warwick at 15, and then the rest of the boys doing their thing. No, uh, really- as we get ourselves into the last couple of minutes uh, with Ben Loder uh, from the DHL Stormers rehabbing, recovering, uh, and almost good and ready to go. I mean, I fear for the team that you will face uh, when you run out against them. Uh, but let's quickly talk about the assignments that lie ahead. Even if you're not involved, uh, there's a big game next Saturday, uh, DHL Stormers against Munster. Yes. That feels like a mini test match. Uh, it's. I think I remember the return fixture last year um, and... It basically is a test match. Yeah. I think those guys are fired up. We're fired up. And uh, yeah, we, we obviously owe them owe them one. So that's going to be a huge one. Feel free to repay that one if you don't mind. Mm. Uh, six o'clock, by the way, <clears throat> uh, next Saturday at the DHL stadium. It's around the corner from us where we are at the moment then. Uh, we've got Glasgow uh, the week after that. Uh, it's an early kickoff in the afternoon. Uh, one forty-five. I don't know if you Oaks are going to know what to do with yourselves. I mean, it's so early. What are we going to do afterwards? Mm. Um, also a big game. Also a huge game. I mean, that that's the last game I played in. Um, I don't think I'll be back for this one, but I'll be playing it alongside the guys. I'll be sat in the stands, heart racing. Yeah. Um, again, we owe them. So, yeah, huge games around the corner. Absolutely. And then, uh, then we got a bit of a break because, mm-hmm. well, a bit of a break from Vodacom United Rugby Championship action mm-hmm. because we've got um, a Champions Cup matches. Uh, what are the games that we're playing? So, yeah, after the international break, we've got um, Toulon. Um, wow. And then we've got <laughs> uh, Harlequins away. Um, so back in my hometown in London. So I've got to get my uh, all my South African friends yeah. are living over there in southwest London come come support the Stormers come make a noise and then of course just before Christmas uh, on the 21st of December it's back to VRC VURC uh, action uh, and it's the Lions in Cape Town uh, as everybody comes to Cape Town mm-hmm. uh, even the rugby players um, and that's going to be exciting so I mean it is non-stop mm. um, and I think that you are going to enjoy the fact that you've had this opportunity to charge yourself to the max and be ready to run out in the park 100 percent. i missed the uh i missed the christmas derbies last year through injury and uh, i can't wait i can't wait oh, be warned guys he can't wait <laughs> uh and he's looking like a beast at the moment so uh i would be very fearful uh if this man ran down the park at me uh i would run in the opposite direction ben Loder. but it is always good to see you thank you so much for your time always a pleasure thanks for having me and have a super saturday thank you you too here we go listen let's time uh, to-